Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. In this video, we are going to be conducting a fun little experiment, so to say. You know, a couple of days ago, I was just kind of messing around with some characters I do not play with, and I began to kind of think and wonder, you know, who's the worst variation in this entire game? Not just worst character, but worst variation. Uh... You know, there's a lot of variations in this game, a lot of characters, but clearly there are some that are better than others. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at who I think is not only probably the worst character, but also the worst character variation in the game. And we're going to try taking that character online and see if we can win some games. Now, before we go any further, you have to understand the difference between a bad variation and an underwhelming one. There's a lot of underwhelming variations in this game. For example, let's look at Noob Saibot. Uh, he's a strong character, you know. I'm not even gonna mess with these variation names, you know, because this is not the tournament name. And I hate that the tournament names are not available, but whatever. We'll just call them Variations 1 and 2. Variation 2 is clearly the better one. It has huge combo potential, big damage, you know, a good teleport. But contrary to what many people think, Variation 1 is not bad. You can win with him. He's a very strong zoner with an unblockable projectile. It's just that compared to Variation 2, he's underwhelming. The same goes with the command grab version of Baraka, uh, the camera version of Johnny Cage and all that. I thought that for me to kind of decide who the worst variation is, that variation has to be truly, truly awful with nothing going for them. And basically how I looked over the roster, I managed to narrow it down to two characters and two variations. The first one being the command grab version of Aaron Black. The second one being the Molotov cocktail version of Kano. I thought about Kotal Khan as well, the uh, totem variation, however, I will say that that life recovery has some potential. Not a lot, but it has just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of potential. I mean, all of these characters have things going for them, you can win with them, it's just, yeah, these three are bad. I guess it's these three that I kind of narrowed down, however... After messing around with the command grab variation of Aaron Black, I've decided that Kano's Molotov cocktail variation is truly, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst variation in this game. Let's beat up Gears, because you know Gears. Uh, the reason I picked this character, and we'll just look at him a little bit, is because in the end, I decided that at least Aaron Black has some good strings. Aaron Black still keeps the little 2-1-2 uh, mash string, he keeps his mid, he keeps his mashable overhead, at least he has those. This character is truly, truly awful. You know, I think that normal Kano, the one with the command grab, has some potential, but <laughs> this one, this one, he ain't have any. Let's look at his strings. Look at this. This is a dismal selection of strings. And here we arrive at a very familiar problem. This character has, I think, zero mids. I think, yeah, no mids at all. Holy shit, I just realized he actually has no mids. He has a low, yeah, he has a low. And yeah, no mids, zero mids. High, high, high. Holy shit, this is gonna be worse than I thought. Yeah, no mids. These are an awful selection of strings. I mean, just look at the frame data as well. Uh, some of them are plus, but this one has a gap. This one, this one is high, high, I think. Only the last hit is an overhead. Yeah, the en enemy has like a year to uppercut it. Holy shit, these strings are bad. This character also has no damage. I mean, this move is okay, but it side switches. I think he still keeps the overhead, but has no follow-up. And he has this. This is probably going to be his best move. As you can see, this character... Doesn't exactly have a lot of things going for him in terms of strings. And again, this is an issue with regular Kano as well, the better version as well. But here, yeah, once you get into the special moves, you'll see. Because you might be going like, hey, maybe the special moves he has make up for the lack of good strings. Believe me, they don't. He has the blade toss. Uh, he has the Kano ball. 
he has the normal Kano Ball, so he has all of that. However, these moves are absolutely awful. First of all, he has Vegemite, which, you know, haha, Kano Australian. This buffs his uh, Kano Ball. I think it might deal more damage. Yeah, 80 versus 147, although I buffed there. So that's 133 and 147. So you get a little bit more damage. I think it also adds a hit of armor. So yeah, that might be... That might be something. You might be like, hey, hey, that's something, isn't it? It's not. See, the thing about the command grab version of Kano is you can play this mind game of going for down ones and the opponent has to guess whether you're gonna go into a command grab or you're gonna go into Kano ball. It's probably the only good thing Kano has going for him. He loses out on that already in this variation. I mean, the thing is, this, the idea of having an armor on the Kano ball would be to counter zoning. However, Kano has an okay projectile. He never has problems with being zoned out, especially with the uh, air Kano ball. So really, this move is entirely pointless other than adding a little bit of extra damage. Next up, we have the mon Molotov Cog. I just saw, I just saw something really awful. All right. So he tosses this little Molotov Cocktail and it deals like, you know, Aaron Black style thick damage. You might be like, hey, that's pretty good. Aaron Black is a very strong character, isn't he? Well, just think about the fact. Just think about Aaron Black and how quickly he can get that Zeteran acid out. Just, you know, look at someone playing Aaron Black and look at him throwing it. He throws it almost immediately. Look at the startup on this. This is some of the worst startup I've ever seen. I gotta check this out. 78 frames, you gotta be kidding me. It takes over a second for it to... Holy shit. It couldn't fall faster on the ground if you wanted it to. This is ridiculous. The opponent has like time to go make a coffee and jump out of the way of this thing. It is actually kind of amazing. Also, as you can see, Kano's throw animations actually take way longer than Aaron Black's. I mean, way shorter than Aaron Black's. I can't even talk. That's how baffled I am by this variation. Yeah, because his throw animations are way shorter, uh, you also don't get as many ticks as Aaron Black does of the poison or fire in this case. So yeah, that's even worse. And finally, he has this move, Chemical Burn. 14 frames startup, just think about that, 14 frames. Negative 22 on block. All this move is, is Kano's, uh, whatchamacallit, it's his wake up. Uh, he has this as his up three. If I go with uh, Gears and do a knockdown. Yeah, it's just his wake up. Except here I think it adds, yeah, it adds damage over time. But look at this. That's all the damage over time you get. Now, okay, this thing is negative 22. However, I think it is not as unsafe as it looks. Because just do something. Yeah. Yeah, you can block because... No, no, you can't. It's punishable. Holy shit. Yeah, I just thought that maybe because Kano moves back, it's not punishable. But, I mean, Gears is a special case. Let's... Maybe testing it this with Gears is not the best idea. But still, you get that. This move is not good. This combination of moves is just completely baffling like what is supposed to be the tactic behind this variation what are you supposed to you have this armored command grab and uh, not command grab a uh, kano ball okay but you know what does it add you know when you look at a variation you always have to add, ask what do the extra moves add just being able to you know take a hit from a projectile as you go in i don't know man there's one more thing with this character and it was one of the reasons I almost excluded this variation and picked Aaron Black, but I still think Aaron Black is the better awful variation. Listen, if you go for this and you apply this chemical burn, it deals unblockable damage. So I've seen some people uh, trap people in the corner with this and just go for, go for shit like this. And it's super plus. And people don't know how to get out. I'm sure it's possible to get out of it. People just don't know how because they never see this variation. You might be like, hey, that looks pretty good, right? 
Well, it's not good because this character and this variation has zero combos. I haven't been able to find a single launching combo with this variation. He has no launchers, he has no strings, he has nothing. Like, how am, how am I supposed to set this up? Look at the startup on this. Look at this. Unless I get him in the air somehow, even then... Yeah, like, he, he's just gonna up too. There's no way to reliably set this up. Uh, none of the knockdowns that Kano has give enough time for him to engage this Molotov cocktail. So the only thing you can hope for, for... What's the string? Yeah, that. The only thing you can hope for is... Yeah, that's not special cancelable. Is to catch your opponent unaware. And, you know, they're gonna be... I don't know, sleeping. They gotta be really sleeping on the job to get caught by that. And then you can go for, you know, something like this. Seriously. Who thought of this variation? He has no no combos, nothing. Man, this is truly awful. So, what we're gonna do is try to win a ranked set with him. Yep, let's go ahead and do this. Is there a chance of me actually winning? Probably not, most likely not. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have a Wi-Fi warrior. <clears throat> Wonderful. This is what I was talking about yesterday. Oh yeah, you gotta press ready. So they changed the rank set system to first to two. I talked about this yesterday. Uh, it's gonna make it even more hard. Uh, the only thing I... Dirtbag, that's what he's called. I bet this guy's gonna pick... I was just gonna say, I bet he's gonna pick score. This is gonna be easy. Yeah, this is, this is gonna go just brilliantly. Brilliantly. Alright, I think he picked Searing Rage. At least that's something. I'm not gonna win, am I? So they changed it to first to two. That might be a problem. Or it could work to my advantage if I get him caught. You know, he's not gonna know what I'm doing. I don't know. I would say I have, I'd have to rely on fundamentals. But with everything starting from a high, I don't know if this character has any fundamentals. Alright. This is gonna be... How? How, you know... Appropriate is it that I'm fighting? Oh, that doesn't reach. Boy, why doesn't that reach? At least give me something. Look at these fundamentals, man. Oh, yeah. We got this, boys. We got this. Oh, this, this, this fool is going down. Hell yeah. First to two. Uh oh. This might be a problem. Oh, this might be a big problem. No. No. I'm not gonna take this L. Watch this. I'm still gonna beat this guy. I'm not even gonna use any of the variation specific moves because I don't know. I got a Molotov cocktail out. I'm very surprised. It's not a punish. I think that side switches and I screwed up the combo. Whatever. Yeah, just gotta go like really random. Holy shit, I was lucky there. Just recovered in time. Oh. Oh, why, why doesn't that reach? As if this variation wasn't bad enough. Holy shit, okay, he got me with the interactable. I'm actually winning. I'm actually winning. Holy shit, I got him. Them fundamentals, though. I think we can safely say that the Molotov cocktail and the acid did exactly zero things for me in that set. Okay. I think this guy might be new to Scorpion because he's not doing a lot of the dirty shit that you can do with Scorpion. As a Scorpion main, you know, I know what he can do and he's not doing much of that. Maybe he's just flustered because, you know, this character is... He ain't never seen shit like this. Oh yeah, that's super... <laughs> oh yeah, that's punishable. That's negative 22. So it does punish teleport from certain ranges. Oh yeah, look at them reactions. 
Maybe he just doesn't know what to do against Kano. Oh, I just put myself in the corner like an idiot. Oh, okay. Fine, fine. Nice. Oh, is, is it gonna kill? No, it's not. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not gonna work. Maybe it's gonna work. I don't know. Is it? No, there's still one more hit left. I'm so dead. I'm not dead. I'm still dead. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That was... That was a quick kind of disassembly of my entire game plan. It does a lot of forward throws. No, this is bad. We're in trouble. He's gonna teleport. Yeah, that's safe. Man, it would be nice to have a safe string. Super plus, but look at how far it knocks. Okay, we got this, boys. We don't got this. I was hoping he'd be more impatient, you know. Ah, he got me. Man, this shit is getting tense. Uh, that very quickly fell apart, you know. I was so hopeful the first game and the first round of that. But then he's just Scorpion, you know. He, he touches you and you take like, you know, 30% damage of your HP bar uh, what can you do okay we still got this we still got this this is you know fundamental God <laughs> I'm just doing a lot of random shit that's what I'm that's what I'm getting by with that is for sure a punish though okay this better do something it don't do shit that's the problem oh fuck is that how we're gonna play it? We can play it like that. That, that. that was meant to be a projectile. That was meant to be a projectile and that's a lot of damage for a mistake like that. Input error, boys. Come on, he's gonna wake up. I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. Of course he's gonna wake up with the fatal blow. It's a scorpion. How did I survive? Yes. MK11, boys. When in doubt, spam that low poke. Now, was that an elegant win? It wasn't. But hey. I think with this variation, I get some leeway, don't I? With having an elegant win or not. Oh my god, it's a high. It, did I literally low profile what I was doing? Ah, he did the back throw. Cool. We still don't got this, you know. I can't say that. Oh, shit. Knock him into the corner. That was supposed to be a Kano ball, but somehow, somehow it ended up being better for me than that missed. Watch this. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I was really hoping he would try something, but now he's patient. Oh, come on. I cannot afford to lose this. That would be... A blow to my dignity, you know. A big blow. Come on, we got this, boys. Ah, that took so much range on it. Come on, come on. 
Yes. I won. That was very close. I don't know jack shit about Kano's Fade and the but we're gonna look at this one. Is this the beer bottle one? Yes, it is. I bet it's Foster's too. You know it is. He's Australian. They they really hammer home that this guy's Australian, you know. If you hadn't noticed, you know, he has a move called Veggie Mighty. Beautiful. I actually won. I'm proud of myself. Again, did any of the variation specific moves actually help? Nah. No, they didn't. You know they didn't. You saw what happened. I couldn't get the Molotov. Like, when could I have possibly gotten that Molotov cocktail out? This variation is awful. So, what could be done to improve it? Well, honestly, it would be really difficult to say. I think, but I don't know how overpowered this would make this character. If he could, you know, amplify the Kano Ball. Maybe if he had Vegemite on and he did an amplified Kano Ball. Maybe just like Aaron Black, he could end with a Molotov cocktail. That would be so good, you know, just to have some sort of reliable way to set the Molotov cocktail up. Uh, he also needs some type of launcher. I don't know what, but I don't know, maybe having some amplified version of the Molotov, you know how... Oh God, I can't even think of the character. Like Enchantress, you know, she had those spells, but she had an amplified version of the spells or a meter burn version that would launch. Maybe he could have like some Molotov cocktail that explodes and it actually launches the opponent in the air because he has no way to set any of his stuff up. You know, setup characters need to have combos because the end of combos is the most reliable way to get, you know, any buff or whatever up. And you just cannot do it. You saw, there was not a single combo that I did in that game. Still, I won against a Scorpion with the worst variation. So, that's my achievement for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this MK11 video. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.